All right, folks, we're on the 923. Um, this is a little short video I'm gonna do. Um, show you guys what's going on so far. Um, of course, this is not a normal five ton case. The other one's sitting right over there. But this is a Hemet transfer case. Out of an Oshkosh M977 or whatever you wanna call them. A bunch of bigger ones. Um, much bigger case than the five ton case, so. Um, this case also is seven inches narrower than the five ton case. We're gonna make some things um, to make it work. Um, right now, we're just sitting in the right now. I haven't, driven, I haven't even drilled the holes for the uh, for the mounting brackets yet. It actually be sitting about an inch higher than what it is right now, inch and a half, uh, somewhere in that range. So, um, yeah. Overall width with the brackets is 28 and three quarters. Your uh, bolt pattern across is 25 and 25 exactly. Um, center bolt across the center bolt. Um, five ton brackets have two bolts on that side, one on this side, the driver's side. The passenger side mount is two inches higher than the driver's side mounts. It's actually a stronger mount, it's a bit bigger than that one. The other ones are kind of small and dinky, like that one right up there. So, um, all in all, um, the only thing I have to swap is, uh, I'm actually gonna swap that, uh, jack shaft out for that one which was my one that was on for my other uh, five ton case to my front diff that one right there is 17 and a half uh, max uh, minimum collapsed um, this one is like 20 21 minimum 20 uh, 19 and a half minimum collapsed so I want to switch them around give me a little more length that's two that's almost two foot back here between those so that'll be fine that's actually a front short shaft off the 939 service sort of truck from the um, uh, center shaft bearing to the front axle, um, 380, uh, 280X U joint for the color uses. So, but primary right now just mocking it up. Um, brackets are made out of half inch steel. I don't think they're gonna break. There's about probably 40, uh, 718 rods in it. So, and uh, some 724, some 70, I think some 724s in it too. I think. Um, so it should not break. Got one truss on it. This truss is offset because the one bolt hole wasn't sure where it was going to be at, so I just went ahead and put one truss. I might put another one in later on. That one's a center truss, so both mounts will clear that one. Um, I'm going to use those same kind of uh, mounts, so I just will use those. Um, they should be fine. Um, I'm actually going to drill, I may drill the bolt holes out for three quarters. This case is way a little bit more, but trans because they don't have that much flex in them. Um, they don't take a lot of torque in and out of them like the transmission does or the engine does or basically all the torques inside. That's why the five ton case is snap in half is because all the torques internal and it's got to go somewhere and the case usually breaks because it's just the way it is. But we'll go underneath real quick. Um, you can see the drive on in like that. I'm gonna come up about an inch, so I'm actually gonna have to raise that uh, spare tire carrier again. It's not a big deal. I had to raise it before you see where it's bent. Um, I'm trying to bend it up a little bit, but it didn't work the last time, so I'm just gonna put another spacer on it. Other side, raise it up. Um, I don't use my fair tire carrier anyway, so it doesn't matter. I could just cut the damn thing off and brace this side over here off, but we'll see. We'll get down to you, but underneath, it's a little hang low, but I'm going to gain an inch. And right now, it's about even with the uh, fuel tank brackets. So, um, actually, this tank here has it way down a lot further than that. It's passenger side, one, driver's side one. Um, I don't see much off-road use, but I mean, it'll be up into the inch, inch and a half. Um, so, but front and drive-on angle will be a lot easier to go off to the side on that, on that cat and then under. But I may actually come down, may lower that center shaft, that, that cross member there, and put a center shaft bearing down lower under the transmission and then around the engine. Um, give me a little more room, but and the road a little ways. But this is the Hemet transfer case, uh, 0.98. High range, 266 low range, uh, air operated, um, front axle engagement. There actually is an air operated high low engagement with these things. You can buy it. It's expensive, so I'll probably just make one. Um, but that's it. It does fit. Um, as far as a normal truck, it may fit right in there too. I mean, you have room mission on an A2 truck with a longer uh, drive shaft, jack shaft. You actually probably make it work pretty easy. Um, this is a replacement I would go to. I mean... Um, you would lose overdrive if you didn't have a different transmission up front of it. Um, but this case here is goes behind much heavier engines, transmissions, and um, I pay $85 for it new in the crate. So, um, yeah, wise investment. 
So we'll uh, go from there and then uh, should be done tomorrow, hopefully. I'm actually going to have to raise the bed. Anyway, I'm going to raise the bed with a 4x4 underneath it to clear the 1600s. So it'll give me an upper clearance, pretty good. But um, hopefully, you guys all like that. So you can see how high it is, but should be fine. So, all right, that's it.